Great, okay, well thank you uh, for that introduction and for your um, enthousi enthusiastic comments about the future for Social Care Wales as well, so I, I really welcome that. And it is a real pleasure to be here. I know that I'm meeting many of you for the first time, although I can see a few familiar faces around the table as well. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying that I really value the time that I spend with people who are working in the social care sector because you can read as many documents as you like and look at as many pages of legislation as you like, but what actually matters are the people who are working in the field and delivering the services every day. So um, as well as meeting yourselves, I'm really looking forward to meeting some of the team here as well um, after, after our meeting this morning. I think that um, we all know it's a really challenging and critical time for the sector and we're all very familiar with those challenges uh, that are set out of, ahead of us. But I think it's also fair to say it's a really exciting time as well with the no, new Social Services and Wellbeing Act. I really feel that there's a sense of enthusiasm about the transformational change that that will make in the sector but also the regulation inspection of social care act as well which although is much drier and doesn't seem to capture people's <laughs> imagination in the same way actually it should because it's so fundamental in terms of setting the standards of the care that we provide to some of our most vulnerable people so i think that's also a really exciting uh, piece of work as well and this is also my opportunity, I suppose, to pay tribute to the professionalism and the expertise that we have in this room and that I know has been very instrumental in getting us to where we are in terms of uh, those pieces of legislation. So um, a huge thank you to, to the board for, for all the work that you've done, done with that. Um, I think it's really the strength of this organisation which has helped us get to the point where we are so smoothly in terms of the legislation as well. So I just wanted to put my thanks for, for that on record as well. Uh, reflecting on your work and looking at the annual report as well, I'm just really struck by the sheer breadth of the, the work that you cover and, and the level of the expertise that you have across the different programmes you deliver. For example, promoting the Welsh language, supporting training on the new legislation and supporting the move to digitalisation as well. All really, really important uh, pieces of work in terms of transforming the sector. And I know there's also a lot going on in the early years sector as well and I uh, maintain a keen interest with that. Uh, even though Carl Sargent is the, the lead minister, we work very closely because we're working in a very different way in this government, much more across, uh, across government on issues to break down that kind of <coughs> silo working that I know has um, been a source of uh, concern perhaps to people in the past. Um, just also wanted to reflect as well on how impressed I am with the fact this is the 10th year of the Accolade Awards, so um, congratulations to you for your continued commitment to that. Uh, social care, it's fair to say, is probably one of the most um, undervalued professions, even though it's just so important. So it's really important that we do celebrate success and um, celebrate the expertise and the hard work and the passion that social care workforce, the social care workforce demonstrates uh, on, on a daily basis as well. Uh, I did want to say something about the move to Social Care Wales and the future. I know that um, from my discussions with Mark Drakeford how impressed he's been with the support of the organisation and the spirit in which you're embracing this change um, and I just wanted to reiterate uh, my uh, or echo Mark's comments on that as well. Um, I think the responsibilities of Social Care Wales will see the organisation grow in stature and in influence and I know that you're very much uh, up for that challenge as well and I want the the organisation to be powerful and influential with the ability to work collaboratively right across the sector. I think that would be really important. The organisation will obviously take a key strategic role in terms of setting the direction um, for the future of social care but also it will have really important practical jobs as well in terms of being a hub of expertise and identifying and sharing best practice right across Wales as well. Um, in terms of workforce regulation and workforce development, that will obviously be or continue to be a key responsibility for the organisation as well. So Social Care Wales will really need to foster an environment where workforce uh, development is, is able to grow and flourish and uh, just so that we're able to create um, a place where the social care is actually 
a, a field of employment that people really are interested in. They want to go in and when they come into social care they stay in it because they can see that there's a career in it. Um, really passionate about developing the workforce and I know that we'll do this in partnership with one another. So just finally thank you all for your work and your commitment uh, to continuing to work on this agenda and just to reiterate for you my commitment and my desire to work closely with you as well. So thank you very much.